Hey, welcome back to another Rogue Tech Short. I just wanted to do a quick video on this layout I've got. I'm running another game that's uh, not the game I'm doing my Let's Play series on, but uh, I picked up a, uh, a pirate LRM-30 um, on the last mission I was on. It was a destroy base mission. Three Skull destroy base and uh, yeah, so <laughs> I thought I'd give this a shot and see what it's like. I just threw it in my uh, my Vindicator. Um, basically, I had to remove, I had a uh, clan pulse laser in the arm here and a, and a clan um, LRM-20 here. Um, and I also picked up some dead fire ammo. So I was able to pull out a lot of heat sinks um, because I got rid of the pulse laser. Two tons for the pulse laser, a bunch of tons for the heat sink. I was able to drop in the dead fire ammo which gives me plus 50% um, stability damage dealt and, and missile damage. And um, this gives me minus one accuracy and, and minus two recoil, but the damage varies. And then I've also got the plus two TTS uh, missile here. So it should offset the, the lack of accuracy. So I'm going to just run a mission and um, I just want to see what this Pirate 30 can actually do here. Uh, let's just drop back out. So. Uh, yeah, I'll, cu I'll cut back when I meet on the battlefield. Okay, here we are on the planet's surface. And this is actually kind of a tough battle to uh, be bringing this Vindicator into, but um, looks like we've got a Griffin 2C here, um, which could be a potential problem. And we've also got a Shadowhawk 2C here, which is another problem. Uh, long range firing turret from here. And this is a 50 ton mech here, so I'm not really sure what these guys are. So we're going to just uh, quickly maneuver through this battle, but I want to see just in a second here how much damage that guy will do. So I don't know what that turret is over there, so I'm just going to move in real quick here. Um, I want to lay down some heavy firepower here. Um, so we've got reinforced shredder turret has got what? Serum 6s and flamers. I'm not worried about him. So we're going to hit this griffin. Um, I think with everything we've got here. We've picked up clan equipment along the way here too, so I'm... Uh, pretty heavily um, tricked out, but um, we're going to need to apply a lot of damage to these guys to get them off the field here. Roger that, Commander. So he's my he's the guy that I'm offering up as the first target for them to shoot at. Firing. Can't even see. You won't hit with one, really? Okay. So some nasty on we're going to bring our Wolverine down. Um into the forest. Once again hitting from the side. Gonna get that Vindicator up in one second here. Unload with everything. Hopefully the PPC hits. Nope. Okay, so he'll probably run away, but anyway. Let's get this guy up here. Um, I gotta sprint or else he's gonna end up being a target here. Maybe we go up to the tower. Hundred and fifty three, hundred and fifty. Can't hit it well yeah, because the LRM's got dead fire ammo, I forgot. So this is not really a good uh on the way. Double time. So we're gonna run over here. It's not really a good um moment to see what this guy can actually do, but we're gonna multi target. We're gonna shoot the uh thing here, the wall and the griffin. If you shoot the wall and destroy it, I think you can get what's in the turret. I'm not 100% sure, but I've heard stories that you could, so... I just target. generally destroy the uh, bit underneath the tower. So not bad. Not bad at all for an LRM-30. I want to get a look closer with the dead fire ammo because I want to see what all 30 of them will do. 95, 10, what? So what the hell does that guy have on him? Oh, that's not too bad. Um, 140 armor on the side. So I want to because we're here to actually see what this thing can do. We're going to move in um, full sprint and I think we'll unload on the Ontos 
we're going to offer up our right torso because our missile rack is in the left. I'm going to fire everything on the Autos here. 35%. What's the chance to hit this guy? 26 now. Let's go against the Autos. Just see what happens. Firing. So let's watch the numbers go up. Sixes, eights, fives, sevens. Eh, not bad. If you figure a regular LRM-20 is like 10 tons, and this LRM-30 is is um, 12 tons, the extra 2 tons um, kind of makes it worthwhile, I think. Crap. Screw you! Reporting minor damage. Yeah, 60 points ain't minor damage, buddy. Alright, I want you... To go right here. Double time. Let's go. We're gonna double shoot this here. So we're gonna target the wall, and we're gonna target this guy. The wall's got what left here? Can I target the wall? I don't think it's gonna let me. I did click on this as a, right? 88. I hope it hits that. So these guys are all going to be. I got you. Yeah, it does. So that should blow up. Yep. So if you're facing hardened turrets on the top of walls, just shoot for the wall underneath it. Blow up, blow up the wall. It's easier to kill. Here comes that 50 tonner. So let's get Vein Skater. We're gonna walk in. He's got really good. Uh, he's got really good evasion, so I'm not worried about that. Everything on the side of this guy. So that guy's going to move now. He's going to melee too. Miss. Yep. Okay, now we can attack the Deontos. And he made a critical error because he just turned his back to my LRM-30. So once we put a, a rack of 30 in this guy's back, I'm going to end this video. But, uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll end the video when, I, uh, when I'm choosing salvage, but just so you can see what I get out of it. But uh, we're going to move this guy straight up into here. Full I want this vehicle dead. So, if we get the front, we can easily do it. What's this guy got? Reinforced LRM turret. 153. The wall's only got 150, but not that big of a difference. Let's fire everything on the vehicle. Goodbye. So there's 60 missiles I don't have to worry about. Damn you. Yep. It's because we took half his body apart. So we're going to come around behind this guy. I'm actually going to sprint. And straight on target from behind. Let's see what kind of damage we can do to this guy. So we're going to leave off... Hmm. Yeah. Medium laser and the LRM. If it wasn't such a warm environment, this guy's relatively heat neutral, but... Uh, so this guy has zero armor on the back of the torso. Ah, pretty good. Let's just fire and see what our numbers we kind of what kind of numbers we're getting. Strangely, that was satisfying. Enemy down. Yeah. So the pirate LRM thirty, meh. with dead fire ammo, I think it's probably worth it. But uh, if you don't have dead fire ammo, I don't think it's worth it at all. Anyway, I'll come back once we get to the end of this battle. Ow. All right, well, we finished the mission. Had no problem. They had reinforcements that came in, two Griffin, one ends, and a uh, Grasshopper, which we were able to easily take down. Um, the Griffins were 
came in by themselves. The grasshopper took forever, so we killed the griffins. And then once the grasshopper arrived, he was dead meat. Uh, the vindicator took a little bit of internal structure damage, but not much. We didn't lose anything in any of these mechs, so we were fine. But yeah, just uh, so there's all the uh, the parts. Shadowhawk 2C, AC-10 Ultra. I've already got stuff. Hammer Fist. These guys were on the uh, um, Grasshopper. So, I mean, possibilities. Clan, medium pulse, and small pulse. This is what? One ton? I've already got lots of these guys, though. 13 heat. Um, ER PPCs, PPC light, Clan Streaks, SRMs kind of nice looking for other stuff though uh, clan feral fibrous is one of the things that I need um, XL engine possibly for cash heat bank is one thing I definitely need right now uh, clan double heat sinks possibility um, clan endo steel I don't need right now I think all my mechs have clan endo steel um, Ultralight Gyro, I got a whole bunch of those. Fusion Core 285 for money. XL Engine for money. Uh, let's just take the Clan XL for money. I I'm, I play this game under the same rules I play all my other games, is that I, I'm not allowed to take mech parts. I get whatever I get, so ends up being whatever, I, whatever they decide to give me. Alright, let's confirm this and just see what else we get. The Hammer Fist I'm not going to use right away, but I will eventually. So two Centurions... One, two grasshopper pieces. Hey, griffin pieces. Cool, I got enough for griffin now. And a shadowhawk 2C, cool. So now it looks like I'm going to be okay with uh, good mechs going forward. Nice. Anyway, so we got a griffin 4N now. Uh, improved cooling, which is kind of good. Um, that mech you wanted? And we got the... Uh, oh, improved shooting, nice. So that's the uh, shadowhawk 2C that we just picked up. Um, 70 grand in uh, repair costs, which is no problem for us right now. Just going to have a quick look at that uh, Clan 2C mech, or the Shadowhawk 2C mech. I want to see uh, what it's got on it, if we get anything from it anyway. So the Shadowhawk 2C has got a whole bunch of stuff. Nice. More things I don't need to buy. So we got the Ultralight Gyro, cool. Clan, Industrial and Ferro Fibrous, XL Engine, Mask, cool. It's a Clan Mask. Uh, AC-10 ammo, eh, no big deal, but that's not bad. So we're going to strip everything off this guy. And that's it for that. That's the uh, LRM-30. So, not bad, in my opinion. Is it worth it? If you've only got one missile launcher and you can spare the 12 tons, sure, it's, it's like 25 heat, it's not bad. If it's, I think it's really only worth it if you have dead fire ammo. And from the way I was looking at it, um, when the numbers were going by, I'm thinking what happens is the dead fire ammo applies to the damage for the LRM. So you're doing six damage each. And then the six damage is modified plus or minus three for the pirate LRM. So you can do up to nine points damage and his, and his minimum is three. So from three to nine damage, it's actually not bad for an LRM. Um, as long as the dead fire ammo is in there, I think it's worth it. If it didn't have the dead fire ammo for 12 tons, it's, I, I would say no. But anyway, that's my opinion. And we'll see you all later.